The Northern Range is the hub of wildlife in Yellowstone. So much of the wildlife in Yellowstone lives here. It's 10% of the area of the park, yet half the wolves live here. It's arguably the most carnivore-rich area in North America, and it's been studied a lot. The Northern Range has been referred to as the Serengeti of North America, and that's because of the vast numbers of ungulate species, mostly. And so when people look out, they may, in one afternoon, in the valley bottom of a Northern Range valley, they may see bison, elk, pronghorn, mule deer, wolves and bears, and all of these species interacting with each other. Well, the Northern Range is the northern area of the park where the Northern Yellowstone elk herd spends the winter. So it's winter range for the biggest elk herd in the park. And it's probably the densest year-round wolf population at any location in North America. We roughly have uh, 35 to 40 wolves uh, year-round in the park portion of the Northern Range. But we've been as dense as 100 wolves just in the northern part of Yellowstone. And we have pretty high bear densities and cougar densities as well. So we have a great mix of carnivore species and we have high density. You know, 50 years ago, that was not the case. We came into the Northern Range as Yellowstone was designated a park and changed a lot of things. So wolves, coyotes, mountain lions, bears to some degree were all being removed in vast numbers. Wolves were eliminated by people directly in the early part of the 20th century. So what happens when you kill off the predators? Well, the prey increases to very high levels and starts to impact the environment. And by doing that, the elk herd shot up and no one really knows how high they shot up. 20, 30,000 was the estimated figure. And they were degrading the environment. Our policy on helping restore nature is fairly clear. If humans did it, we'll help the system get back on the right track. So what was missing were all these carnivores. And so they were not performing their ecological function. Cougars came back to Yellowstone on their own through natural dispersal. We started seeing signs of that in the 80s, and we reintroduced wolves in the mid-90s. And now that wolves and cougars have been restored and bears have increased, the new story is about what happened to all the elk and what is happening to the willow and aspen now that the elk have declined and these carnivores are back. The willow is relied on by a lot of animals, and so it's kind of a positive feedback loop. The more willows there are, the more moose and beaver, and the healthier the ecosystem because of those animals being involved too. And so beavers are, of course, nature's engineers, and they'll build lodges and dams that will help raise the water tables. And raising the water table is one of the things that the willows rely on the most. They can't deal with cut banks and swiftly moving creeks. They have to have that slow moving water. So this smaller elk herd is more natural. We're seeing a response of willow and aspen, which used to be suppressed. We've got wolves and cougars back. We've got more bears. So Yellowstone's system now is a National Park Service success story. I think the Northern Range is incredibly unique, not only for the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, but for the world. Protecting Yellowstone is important to just protect the species that live here, but also provide people a place to be able to see natural processes and use that throughout their life for making decisions on what they think is important. I think a huge value of the national parks is to instill awe of nature into people. Going out on a landscape filled with grizzly bears is not the same as, you know, going to the mall. And seeing wolves bring down an elk or seeing two wolf packs clash right in front of you are life-altering events. There's no question we are changing people's lives by having places like Yellowstone. And the Northern Range is probably 
the heart of the park, and the park's the heart of the ecosystem. So it's all built upon each other, but at ground zero is the Northern Range.